So on the Facebook side of things, when you are creating your Facebook retargeting campaign, my personal preference is to always choose a conversion objective campaign, which is really your way of telling Facebook what your goal is. Some people create a video views campaign, which is telling Facebook, I just want people to watch my video. Personally, you know, I've always been a results driven agency or person. So I always like to tell Facebook, yeah, I want people to watch my video, but I want people to click and buy. So that was always my, well, is my preference is to choose a conversion objective campaign. Sometimes we will choose a traffic campaign if we're just trying to get as many people back to the offer. Only really we would do that if there's a possible tracking issue. And this is usually involved with people who have third-party software like booking software, which doesn't integrate, probably a little bit technical, but beyond the scope of this podcast interview. <laughs> Look at you go. Now you're just showing off. No, no, no. Well, it's just some people like use booking software, like for mm. example, Schedule you know, if you run like a yoga or- yeah. Well, well, yeah, or um, people got like a yoga studio and people want to like book a class or a lot of those booking softwares, which I am amazed in 2022, still can't integrate their Facebook pixel in there. The so, client of mine is actually looking for a great booking software to run classes online. Have you found one that is actually great? I haven't. Yeah. I mean, there's a software product for, you know, entrepreneurs who's listening to this. I mean, you'd have a customer right here. 